I've traversed the multiverse enough to know that not all supermen are created equal. This absolute superman, he's a different breed altogether. I've already studied my counterpart, the absolute Batman, and now it's time to delve into this alternate Kal-El. In his world, Krypton was a hierarchical society, and the crest we recognize as a symbol of hope was, in fact, a mark of the lower class, the so-called unskilled and impoverished. Yet his parents, Lara Lorvan and Jor-El, wore it with pride. They believed themselves to be the children of the sun and the people of steel. Both were exceptional individuals, Lara, a brilliant student destined for greatness, and Jor-El, a top graduate of the Science Academy, with a promising future among the elite. But they chose a different path. Lara wrote an essay criticizing Krypton's lack of funding for interstellar exploration. Jor-El, at his graduation, condemned the Science League's reckless exploitation of Krypton's natural resources, warning of impending environmental catastrophe. Their defiance cost them their futures in the upper echelons of Kryptonian society. Instead of ascending the ranks, they remained among the working class, retaining the S symbol that signified their social standing. Their fears were realized as Krypton began to decay. The elite ignored the signs, the drying lands, the failing ecosystems. Their denial led to the planet's demise, taking almost all Kryptonians with it. In their final act, Jor-El and Lara sent their son to Earth. Unlike our Kal-El, who left Krypton as an infant, this alternate Superman departed his dying planet as a young man, fully aware of his heritage and the fate that befell his people. He didn't land in the care of the Kents. Instead, he arrived on Earth alone, his only companion being an advanced AI integrated into his suit, a final gift from his parents to protect him. This lack of human connection meant he observed humanity from the outside, witnessing the depths of social injustice and inequality. This AI isn't just a protective shell. It's a sophisticated system capable of obscuring his identity, making his face appear blurry on cameras and sensors. It advises him, aids him, and perhaps influences his decisions more than I'm comfortable with. His powers mirror those of our Superman. Super strength, speed, resilience, heat vision, and X-ray vision. However, he lacks the ability to fly, at least for now. Intriguingly, he exhibits a unique ability. His punches generate explosive, fiery energy upon impact. Whether this is a result of his suit's technology or an innate Kryptonian ability enhanced by his prolonged exposure to a different sun remains uncertain. I've noticed something else, an intriguing weakness that sets this Kal-El apart from the Superman I know. He relies heavily on solar energy, but not in the same way Clark does. There were instances where he was seen connecting himself to solar panels and cables, recharging himself while he slept. This suggests that he cannot maintain his solar charge throughout the night, or that he burns through it rapidly and must replenish his energy reserves during periods of rest. Both scenarios leave him vulnerable during specific periods, a weakness my Superman doesn't share. There are a few possible explanations for this. It might be that his Kryptonian physiology hasn't fully adapted to Earth's yellow sun, or perhaps his powers are still developing. More observation is needed to confirm this theory. He operates in a world where allies are enemies. The Lazarus Corp., a militarized organization led by Brainiac, exploits the vulnerable, much like how the ruling class on his Krypton oppressed the lower classes. Even familiar faces take on different roles. Lois Lane, a trusted ally in our world, is a soldier who apprehended him, viewing him as a threat rather than a friend. There's a pattern of inversion in that universe. Just as the already covered absolute Batman faced an adversarial Alfred, this Superman navigates a reality where trust is a rare commodity. His experiences have forged him into someone deeply aware of social injustices. Without the grounding influence of the Kents, he sees the world's flaws more starkly. He carries the ideals of his parents, a desire to protect the weak and challenge corruption. But without a stable moral compass, there's a risk he might cross lines our Superman wouldn't. I can't ignore the potential dangers. A Superman without the guiding principles instilled by the Kents could become unpredictable. He might strive to change the status quo, but at what cost? I've seen alternate versions of Superman, where instead of a symbol of hope, 
he becomes disillusioned and rules with an iron fist, or in his case, a fist of steel. I need to be cautious. His intentions might be noble, but the path to ruin is often paved with good intentions. I must develop contingencies. Understanding his suit's technology is crucial. The AI within it adds an unpredictable element. If he decides to impose his will without restraint, the consequences could be dire. Ultimately, I hope he chooses a path that upholds the true essence of what it means to be Superman, a symbol of hope, justice, and compassion. But until then, vigilance is essential. The multiverse has taught me that even the best of us can fall. And if he does, I'll be ready. Because someone has to be.